Hey everyone, welcome back to Beekeeping with Natalie, or welcome to if you are new. Today we're going to be moving a nuke into a nuke box. So that sounds pretty exciting. It, it should be. We'll see. Um, so I actually made a video not that long ago about moving a nuke into a 10 frame. A little bit similar, but not quite. We're going to basically move this hive that is in a double nuke box right now into some pro nukes. That way we can sell them in these because we can't sell them when they're in a double nuke box and we want to keep these double nuke boxes. And so if you don't know how the double nuke box works, I've had a few videos on it before, but it's basically one 10 frame box with a divider in the middle. And so you can fit, I think it's four frames maybe in there. It looks like you can fit five, but you can't. I actually have no idea what these look like right now. I was adding frames to them a little while back. But I don't know if these girls ever got frames, but let's check to see. It is such nice weather out today. Cloudy, rainy. So, so they do have some frames in here. It's super muddy. <laughs> I asked for permission. She says, okay. It just keeps replaying to my head. We are on our way up to the bee yard. It's just really muddy. Man, mom fell, but it, it was hilarious. I'm sorry. It was so funny. I just heard this big thump. <laughs> Look back. She, she looks so confused. Anyways, so yeah, it's a little muddy out today, but <laughs> you could tell by her pants too. <laughs> Anyways, so I added these frames a little while back because they were building up so much that I thought they were going to swarm. Um, it, you know it's going to be a good season when your nukes are ready to swarm. So I wanted to add these just in case, and it looks like they're definitely filling it. So I might be able to actually leave a few frames, like put what I want in the nuke box and then leave a few frames and then whatever is left, I'll come back and put like a queen in, maybe some more bees and brood. So basically we're getting two splits out of these, maybe. I don't know, I haven't figured that out yet, but we're just gonna check. I checked them honestly a few weeks ago, so I don't know exactly what's going on anymore. I remember marking a lot one day, so she should be marked, but we'll see. So they're slowly starting to draw this out. And then this looks like, I don't know if you can tell, but just like a lot of our frames right now just look really nice because they've got that new wax. Um, a little bit worried about the season this year. I think it could either be really good or it could be kind of a trick and it looks like it's going to be really good, but we might get the honey flow really, really quick, and then it ends and we'll be in a dearth for the rest of the year, but hopefully that's not what happens. Yep, so this is exactly what I wanted. I wanted to make sure that she was definitely laying. So she is. She's been laying for a few weeks now at this point, hopefully. So I'm also definitely going to try and find her. This looks like pretty much brand new, freshly laid. So that, that looks great. I'm just gonna check this other frame just because I do wanna make sure that I find her. Cause like I said earlier, we're gonna be selling this nuke. So we wanna make sure that she is definitely in there. This is kinda like doing a nuke in a 10 frame box. So you can kinda just pull out whatever you're wanting. And then whatever you leave can hopefully be for um, another nuke. So we've got some cells that are in a cell builder right now that I grafted yesterday. So that's what we're gonna use for queens on this one. We're gonna try and do two day cells like we did a while back. I have a video on it somewhere. It's from a long time ago. I think it was actually just last year now that I'm thinking about it. This is also completely laid up. Um, but yeah, we're gonna do some two day cells, see how that works. Just because we won't be able to get back into these girls for another, honestly, it might be another week. And so we don't want them to go that long without being queenless. We've got some other nukes that didn't take. And so we're also doing two day cells. And I'm just going to pull this box off. So this is just a separate box. Originally I had two of these boxes on that way. I could do Ziploc feeding kind of as a feeder shim a very big feeder shim but so you can see that we have such a good flow on right now that they're building a lot of comb right here 
spilling some extra wax, which is good to see, but it's always annoying to try and clean up. So that might mean the frame looks a little funny. So I wanted to do, I was looking to do probably two frames of brood, a frame of solid food, and then maybe some brood and food frame, and then another frame that has maybe some food on it, but they're also still trying to draw it out. So I was thinking about doing that for this new here. So let's see what it looks like. They're not too bad, but I might've just ruined that. Um, I wouldn't blame them if they're a little testy today just cause the weather has been really bad. All right, this looks like a good solid frame of brood. A little bit of a mess just because I just pulled it out and it's just full of nectar right now. So that looks nice for a new queen who is here, actually. This looks really great. So she's not actually marked. She's down here at the bottom. She's pretty dark. So I'm definitely going to mark it, especially because this is going to somebody that um, wants to probably know what year their queen is and so I'm gonna mark her as this year this year is red I was gonna do we're doing pink just because it's a little bit easier to see but because this is going to somebody I'm going to make sure to do red because I don't know what they would prefer so I'm just gonna do a safe route with red so I have been marking queens a lot in my last few videos which is dangerous game to play I haven't killed one yet I always grab her before I get the marker ready. They don't like the shaking, so I usually try to shake it away from the hive. This is the paint marker I'm using. I'll leave it in the description actually because a lot of people have been asking about it. And so I'll leave it there so you guys can check that out. These things are a little scary sometimes because sometimes they'll just start painting their whole body. Let's see if I can get this open. I might start painting my face in a second here. All right, so you can see it's kind of messy sometimes. I ha we haven't really found one that works super great. So just I just do a little tester somewhere and then give her just a little dot on her thorax. I don't even touch her abdomen. Just like that. And then we're gonna put her right back onto that frame. Sometimes I'll put her into a queen cage to let her dry for a little while because sometimes they'll clean it right off of her. I'm gonna pick this up just so she doesn't go under the frame or anything. But yeah, now she has a really nice dot on her. So she's ready to go. So I'm gonna put her right into this nuke box. That way I know she is in here. So that's gonna count as one frame of brood. And then this next frame looks like another really good solid frame of brood here. Yeah, the only thing about, I would say, complaint about these boxes is you can't fit a fifth frame into it, so they tend to build some comb here. So that kind of sucks, but they're really nice. We had a hive that actually overwintered. We had a couple that overwintered in these nukes boxes, and they just do so well. This looks really great. So this is, this is her. I'm just, it's really nice to be able to say that these new queens have such a good looking pattern like that, and so feel good about selling this. And so we're going to put this in here. Actually, now that I'm thinking about it, you know what? No, it'll be all right. I was going to say maybe I'll, the frame that she was on, put it back in here, but I'm going to actually leave this frame that I see in here instead. It's just, it looks like a really nice solid frame of brood again. So hopefully this next frame will be food, but I'll go ahead and pull this out. So yeah, basically same thing. So that looks great. A lot of pollen, nectar, and then this frame here. So this is brood and food. So this was gonna count as our food and brood frame. It's mostly brood, but it'll do. So I'm gonna put this, so the brood's going into the middle. She was on this frame. 
And then, so these are just our two solid frames of brood. And then I'm gonna put this out here. I try not to get too many bees into my veil. And then I wanna go back up to the top here and pull out some food frames, I'm hoping. I still want like a solid frame of food. Remember this being some brood on it, but this, I might switch that one out actually. Sometimes they don't, don't always have what you want. So that is some new comb. Probably end up using that. Just want to figure out what I'm going to do here. Let's do... I wanted to find just a solid frame of food, but I didn't find anything like that. But this should do. This is mostly food on this backside here. Well... Yeah, this will work though. All right, so we're gonna basically count this one as our solid frame of food. And then two brood, and then a half brood, half food. Hopefully any of this makes sense. And the next one is going to be partly drawn, maybe some brood on it, maybe some food. Really just whatever, something to give them to do, which is gonna be, I think, this one. So this one's got some eggs in it, larva, and then the rest is gonna be f is food on here. So I'm gonna put this in. So now there's three frames of, just three frames left here. So that one's just a solid brood frame. And then this is, oh wait, this is a lot better. Let's, <laughs> this is typically how it goes. That, I like that one a lot better for half food, half brood-ish. Um, so I'm gonna switch out, which one was it? I think it might've been this one. Yeah, we're gonna switch this one out because this is just basically solid frame of brood. A little bit of food on this backside, but not a whole lot. I'll go over it one more time just to make sure it makes a little bit more sense. So I'm counting this more of the food frame. I know it might be confusing, but I I think I know what's going on, so it should be fine. So yeah, no, so what's left here is a pretty good food frame, a little bit of brood on it too, good amount of brood actually. And then this is just brood, solid frame of brood here. And then the next one I'm gonna do, put in here is pretty much just foundation. Looks like they're drawing it out just a little bit here. But now, we'll come back, maybe add some food to them, maybe another frame of brood from another hive, something like that, and then this will just be a whole nother nuke. So it doesn't look like a nuke, but it will turn into a pretty good looking nuke actually. And so now what I'm gonna do is go through this one and maybe let's say this one has a lot more bees in it or something like that. Then I'll put that in here. So this has a pretty good amount of bees in it, but not enough. So I'll do a shake of bees from somewhere else just to make sure there's enough bees in there. And then we're gonna, so just one more time so it makes sense, brood brood, solid frame of food, half brood, half food, and then just um, a little bit of food and mostly foundation. So that's what's in here. And then I'm gonna put it on vented. That way they can breathe a little bit. And then I'm actually gonna make sure, I'm gonna leave the entrance open just for now. And I'm gonna put it right here. I'm gonna leave the entrance open for now. We're about to close them up though and take them. And so all the foragers will basically just go back to the same place. And yes, yeah, so that's pretty much it. So let's close this up. Hopefully that made sense, a little bit chaotic. Now I'm just gonna do the same thing on this hive. 
Probably won't film all of it just because it's the same thing. Don't want it to get too boring. Alright, so this one looks good too. Or, you know, I'm thinking about it. The other thing you could do is basically just get rid of the n double nuke and you could combine whatever is left into one and just make that a nuke. I don't know if that makes much sense. But yeah, there's not a whole lot of bees in this one, so I probably won't shake from this one. Let's see if I can get this open. Yeah, not a whole lot of bees in here, but that's all right. So we'll definitely get, make sure to give them a nice shake. And yeah, I think that's pretty much it. So we're gonna do that on a few more hives. We've got one right here and then another one over here. And so I'm gonna do that. And then we'll go through some other nukes that we have and get ready for those to be sold. I think that's pretty much it. So if you have any questions, feel free to leave it in the comment section. And thanks for watching today's video. Follow along for more bee adventures and be here next time on Beekeeping with Natalie.